Hello everybody, welcome to another day of working on our basement. This is episode two of our basement series. If you missed the last episode, go back and watch it after you're done this video. So today we are going to be taking apart our basement bathroom. This basement bathroom is going to stay exactly where it's located. We're not moving anything or, you know, really changing anything serious with it, but it's getting a cosmetic upgrade. Um, let me show you the bathroom. Here it is in all of its vintage glory, the blue toilet, blue sink. I'm showering. <laughs> <laughs> and it also doubles as our laundry room. I explained in our last video what our plans are for this bathroom. So we're gonna be doing a bathtub and shower combo, keeping the toilet where it is, adding in a vanity, and then getting rid of this white cabinet behind me and doing a closet instead. Did you know that was gonna happen? No, oh, it just broke. Oh no! <gasps> what a great way to start the video. Anyway, this is today's vlog. We'll get right down to it. <laughs> showers out and we'll have to dispose of that uh anybody want the blue toilet and matching sink comment below you can come pick it up That's and it. you have to uninstall it too <laughs> and you have to clean it and you have to clean it we won't show the inside clean i just cleaned it the other day Ooh. oh yeah, i'm pleasantly surprised I just cleaned it. when we moved in it was a dark like it was a, a nice ring around it because Obviously, this toilet wasn't being used in many years, but the sink is a different story. From there to there. So that would be, be doors. they could be pocket doors? Oh, actually, they can, yeah. It doesn't matter if they are or if they aren't. I'm just, I want them to just be like glass French style door. So you're going to go. Yeah, exactly that. Or are you going to go. So I shared on my Instagram story my inspo pick for this and I had you guys vote if we should do the doors or if we should not do the doors and keep it open. Um, I think it's more than like 75% of you say doors. Now, I haven't shared this on you know any of our other socials yet so you guys can still debate it in the comments but it's looking like we're gonna do doors here, possibly pocket doors, possibly just French doors, but something even for the sake of sound, if we've got games and things like that happening in this space, then it doesn't carry all the way upstairs. Plus, like I said in our last video, we're going to be opening this door and then that's going to become part of the basement as well. So it's going to be a pretty big space for sound to carry. Good morning again. I don't even know where we left off with this. <laughs> last time you saw, we managed to get the shower out. Um, but all the paneling is coming down today, so you guys will see that now. So over here, there used to be a potato cutter. The previous owner, bless his heart, loved potatoes and like French fries. <laughs> 
So he did write down that the potato cutter was $297. Um, but the special price for it was $266.68. It's gonna be hard to talk with the washing machine going, so you guys will just have to watch like a montage. So the house used to be electric baseboard heaters before they ran natural gas down the road. So when they got natural gas, they put a furnace in and had to run their ducts and they just saws all the studs and just ran the ducts right through the wall. It's time to remove the blue toilet sink combo. Little combo pack. I do love them. I think that they're, they're very cute. Obviously it's hard to find stuff like this nowadays. Um, and everyone's removing these vintage fixtures from their house. I think that they're so cute and it could be cute in a renovation. So, but I don't think that's our house. I don't think so too. But I do appreciate how adorable they are.
took the walls down because nothing was level, nothing was square, and there's like nothing's attached to each other. It was just the paneling holding the studs up. So we're gonna reframe it properly, nice and straight, square, and then that'll just make doing the flooring easier, drywall easier, everything stronger. So question for you all as we're you know working behind the washer and dryer here. Are you somebody who prefers to have a laundry room? Or are you somebody who is fine with a laundry closet or having laundry in a bathroom? Comment below, let us know, because obviously this was a bathroom with a washer and dryer in it. And we're not keen on moving that. But I want to hear what you guys think, because I'm not somebody who ever cares for a laundry room. But I am somebody who, if people are coming over and like using this bathroom, I'm not super keen on our laundry also being in there. But the thinking was that if it does stay like this, then wet bathing suits and things like that can go straight to the washer and dryer. And there's bases on these, on this washer and dryer here that make it taller. But if we took the bases off, it would sit lower and we could just do like a countertop across it. But this is all still just in discussion. So comment below, let me know your thoughts. Uh, I'd love to hear it. Or if you guys have other design ideas, um, we're always happy to hear those too. So here's kind of the plan of where we're at right now for the basement. So this is the complete overview. Like I said in the last video, our house basement is majority garage, which is what this whole space is. So eventually this is gonna become part of the basement too. But in the meantime, this is what it looks like. So um, coming down the stairs, it's going to be a big closet for storage right there. And then it's going to be the rec room. So I explained more about this in the last video if you haven't seen it already. But basically this whole space is going to be like living area, TV, really comfy, cozy. This area here will be game area. So I wanted to do air hockey or um, ping pong or whatever really in this area with a built-in on this wall, which we will show you later on. This is the layout that we currently have for this bathroom. So it's going to be a pocket door here. And then on the left will be a closet. So a nice big closet here. And then a bathtub with a shower. The toilet stays in the same spot. And then a vanity will go there with a washer and dryer next to it. Add a wall here and you'd have a closet, an extra closet down there. Yeah. That's but I mean, true. how many closets do you need? See, the thing with closets is we don't have a lot of them. As far as we have like them in the bedrooms, but for closets, for linen and towels and things like that, we're like, we're just short closets. But this is pretty much what our process looks like. Sometimes we do get asked about coming up with renderings and things like that. Even the renderings that we sell on our website, this is the same sort of process. Yeah, Andrew does it. It looks like this. Andrew does everything through AutoCAD and draws everything up. So we've got the fire pit plans. Those are for sale on our website if you're new here. And like the built-in electric fireplace in our living room, our vegetable garden, the raised beds. That's our current basement. Yeah, the exact uh, design that it currently is with all the measurements. These are the kind of things that you would need to provide if you're doing um, permits and things like that. So it's nice that he knows how to do that. So that's the office built in, which is the room that we're in right now. Is that what our house is currently or that's no, what it could look that's like? that's what I would change it. I'd add gables, <laughs> do stones with siding. Yeah, that's what our, our the front of the house, if we could change everything would look like. But it's nice that he knows how to do all this. I think we're gonna leave you guys here for this video and if you guys want to see framing a little preview we have started on that behind us and we will be sharing that in the next episode so as usual if you guys want to see the short form of all this content check our shorts or our tiktok and um what else do i have to say mm. i'll add the boy for the basement work Hmm. If you guys are on Pinterest, uh, we are pinners now. So <laughs> feel free to check out our Pinterest account um, for more home content. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!